Well, this is going to be a very hard preview because I'm a Manchester United fan and Josh is a Manchester City fan. Now, for any of you that have been living in a cave, it is currently Manchester City 3, Man United 1 after the first leg in the League Cup semi-final. And Man United now have to travel to the Etihad Stadium. Now, this is a stadium where the Blues very rarely lose. And let's just say United getting two or three goals, two to three goals or more required to change this round well it's looking very highly unlikely josh welcome to the show oh thanks for having me jamie uh, now josh how do how do you feel at the moment because man city have had i mean they've still had in my eyes a good season the league hasn't quite been the best as they hoped for but yeah again no one else is performing better than liverpool but overall you know league cup fa cup champions league is still there for pep Guardiola. uh yeah uh, we've been playing well not as well as we have done the last couple of years but i suppose we set such a high bar, uh, especially in the Premier League, uh, equating 198 points the last two years have been, have been absolutely fantastic. So I suppose uh, that amazing run had to, had to end at some point, and I suppose that's because this season. So um, I'm not too down. We're doing well in the uh, domestic competitions. We're still in the Champions League. Uh, I've kind of given up on the Premier League now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all on, the, um, all on the League Cup, FA Cup and Champions League for me. So in a way, it could still be a treble. Yeah, just about. I, w- I don't think I'll be claiming it as a treble. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. Well, as long as you stop Liverpool, as a Man United fan, you know, it's, 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 I mean, you still hope, really, that Liverpool don't win the Premier League, but uh, I, I think that's uh, that takes more than a miracle now. But, oh, well. Um, looking into this second leg, Josh, I mean, Man City absolutely nailed it at Old Trafford the other week. Um, first half performance could have been more than three goals. Um, and then, of course, Rashford turning up in the second half to get a goal back, but it might have just proven to be a consolation goal. You, you're confident Pep's men can get the job done? Yeah, I suppose you've got to be confident um, going into the game 3-1 up, uh, especially with, with how well we play at home. But, I mean, being a City fan, we know what it's like. We have the same typical City, as good as we are. Um, something bad always seems to happen. And, of course, United only came to the Etihad just last month mm. and got a result. So, mm. um in hindsight, yeah, we should go through, um, but I don't think it's going to be easy uh, as many people think. I can definitely see United scoring, especially mm. with the way we've been defending recently. Um, and I just, I just kind of wish we'd have killed the game at Old Trafford. Uh, being free and up at half time, I just wish we'd have kicked on. Um, and maybe got one or two more. And I mean, conceding was a bit of a, a bit of a bad point for us because I, st- I still think that gives United just a glimmer of hope going into the game. United are going into into the game as well on the back of a 6-0 win so uh, mm. they'll be they'll be up for it um, but yeah we should get through but I'm not 100% confident just yet <laughs> I mean it could have been even a lot more different when very late on in that first leg Rashford had a long range effort and Claudio Bravo had to uh, had to make sure it went off target to uh, go for a corner kick so you know if that had found the net we'd be talking here uh, just a goal between the two So, but I think this is it isn't it Josh because you know we we're big Man U and Man City fans. We know that this is a big occasion and anything can happen where United could get a goal early on and then all of a sudden, you know, it's just like what happened to United at PSG last season. An early goal can just change everything. Yeah, you're exactly right, especially with, you know, how we've been playing um, throughout this season, really. I think I feel the players are feeling the pressure quite a bit, especially with being so far behind United and I feel like um, it'll only take United an early goal uh, and they'll be right back in it. Uh, you mentioned Rashford there. I mean, every time he seems to play against City, he seems to turn up. So I'm quite happy that he's out injured. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, players like Mason Greenwood, uh, Anthony Martial, more than capable. So I think if United do nick an early goal, um, it's going to be a very, very uh, edgy contest for us. Uh, and, and of course... You know, the, when you when you look at when you look at Pep's team, they, they're so experienced that they most of the time do get the job done. Is it? Has there been any players that you've been particularly disappointed with this season? Because as, as we've already mentioned, you know they're still in free competitions, but yet there's been a bit lacking in some places. Would you say? Yeah, well, the main the main one for us really has been at the back, mm. um, losing Vincent Company at the start of the season. Obviously, he's gone off to Anderlecht. Massive miss. Uh, and then Emirate Laporte being injured. Uh, he's, again, a superb player. He left a real hole at the back. And it gave John Stones and Nicholas Antomendi like a, a real chance to step up uh, and, and show their worth, but I, they just haven't. And I feel the fact that 
Peppers have to play Fernandinho at the back pretty much every week since Laporte's been out. Speaks volumes that he doesn't think Otamendi and John Stones mm. are capable of playing together, which is is very disappointing when you look at the price tags of the players. A lot of, lot of hype around John Stones, but I think I think this season the pressure's got to him a little bit. Uh, and not mm. having um, a Laporte or a company next to him um, has meant he struggled. I think that's it. I mean, John Stones... I mean, would you say John Stones' time is up at Man City if, it, if this form continues? Um, I've always been a very, very big fan of John Stones. Yeah. I mean, but the way he plays as a centre-back and the way Pep wants him to play, you're always going to get mistakes. Mm. And he knows that, and I imagine Pep knows that. Um, but time is up. No, I'd still, I'd still stick by him. Um, I came out of the Crystal Palace game last week pretty frustrated with him because I feel he was partly to fault for, for Zaha scoring the equaliser late on. Mm. Um, but after reflecting on that, you still got to remember he's a world. I still class him as a world class player. Yeah, um, and I hope I hope he gets some time. I think if we he slots in next to Laporte uh, for the remainder of the season, that'd be my choice um, as centre backs. Uh, then I think he'll improve. He's definitely got it in him. We've all seen that. Uh, but I just think with Stones, it's a case of confidence, really. So uh, finally, Josh, who what's your prediction ahead of the game? Do, what what's the score line for the second leg? Ooh, my prediction is City win two one. Two one. Oh, okay then. Okay, I'm. Uh, well, I've got to have some optimism, I guess. But <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, definitely. I mean, uh, for me, I'm going to say three 0 But I have no idea, Josh, where the goals are going to come from from United. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no Rashford, uh, Greenwood. Well, Solskjaer seems to play him always in the second half, and I'm thinking, no, play him now. We've got nobody else. Martial always misses a sitter, as he showed against uh, Liverpool, and yet again, without the signing of Bruno Fernandez, I don't know where our service is coming from. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we'll we'll see what happens, but we got what forty eight hours to sign Bruno Fernandez and try and change things. But <laughs> don't, not yeah, the fact hopefully that hopefully not. Hope, hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, well, for you guys, hopefully not. For me, uh, <laughs> we just need some sort of spark this month in this transfer window. 